Hey, what's going on to all of my freaks and geeks out there? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel so good today. Mm. I wonder why. Because mm. I have a haul to show you, freaks. Yes. Okay, so today I wanted to do my affordable alternative plus size geek haul from Dollar Tree. You know, guys, Dollar Tree is like my boyfriend. It's like my second boyfriend. My first boyfriend is called Amazon.com, but my second boyfriend is called Dollar Tree. Okay, no. Ah, I'm like shaking everything. Ah! Okay, so I love Dollar Tree, guys. Dollar Tree is like my zhuzh, you know? And uh, finally, I've gotten my like camera looking right because it never looks right. And now I finally figured out how to do stuff. But guys, I gotta tell you, this lipstick is making me feel so horny, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, these lipsticks are absolutely rocking. I want to apologize, guys. I'm so sorry I, I was behind today. I was just like, I came home. I worked my butt off at a job I don't even freaking like. I don't even like half of the humans that work there, okay? They're so freaking annoying. But I'm like, you know what? I got to suck it up. I got to make this money. So that way I can bring you all this fabulous stuff. So, without further ado, like I always say, welcome to Sin TV Now, the show that brings you smart, intelligent news, of course, multicultural beauty, and most, most, most importantly, okay, cultural topics. All right, we got a little bit of everything here. We got our gaming, we got our news, we got our affordable Asian beauty products. And it's going to be completely separate from the Curvy Melhead show. If you're more into the gothic and darkness and all of that, then you want to watch that show. But I'm pretty, I'm a pretty gothic person, I have to say. I have a very duck sense of humor. But I also have a geeky sense of humor as well. So I will do my best to be a little bit more lighthearted. But if I get gothic, I get gothic, okay? So for today, we're doing Dollar Tree. I... I I just got a whole bunch of stuff, and guys, you will not believe for a plus-size metalhead gothic person like myself, okay? There are tons of awesome stuff that you can find at Dollar Tree. Just so, you know, I just wanted to show you that because you don't necessarily always have to buy, like, expensive stuff, okay? So, first thing, let me backtrack a little bit. The lipstick that I'm wearing today is MLG. 1-35, which is Blackberry, and this is coming from the Nobby Matte Long Lasting Lip Gloss, but this is not like a lip gloss to me. This acts more of like a lipstick than a lip gloss, and I'm going to get all the colors. Like, you can get it Nobby on Amazon, but I think you can get it from beauty supply stores too, and then what I usually do is what I put it on top to kind of give a little more shine is the Lip Medic balm lip balm from uh as i like hit my mic here real classy oh this is the lip medic let me try to like get this in focus damn it okay so this is the lip medic balm from blistex and this stuff it has very medicated smell but you can tell i use it like every day because in order to keep these lips sexy for all those hot older white men out there and the hot like older Asian daddies out there and especially I'm starting to have a soft spot for older Latino men mm. so sexy okay so yeah this stuff is awesome it's just lip medic from Blistex definitely this combination together for me is perfect so I get the medicated part uh, on my lips, so, because, you know, with matte lipsticks, they can dry and stuff, and it's now, like, no bueno, okay? <laughs> we do not want crusty lips kissing other crusty lips, except you're like that. If you have crusty lips and you like crusty lips, good for you. But for this lady right here, I like a man with some nice, juicy, 
Mm, soft, moist. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to turn myself on today because I'm always horny. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so... Because I'm loose like that. No, um... But yeah, the Nobby, um Matte Long Lasting Lip Gloss in Blackberry. They have a whole bunch of shades, so I'm definitely coming up next week. I'm going to have another haul. It's going to be haul, haul, haul time. But yeah, this stuff is awesome. All right, so without me looking all fabulous like I always do, um, and also my brows on fleek.com, just saying. Uh, I All I've been doing, honestly, pardon me here, I'm like adjusting my earring. My ear, as you can see there. <laughs> I'm so alternative. Eh. Okay, so um, my brows are just a combination of e.l.f. brow pencil in natural brown and then the L.A. Girl dark brow kit. And then I just kind of put that on halfway and I kind of leave the front of my brows a little more sparse. And yeah, my brows be popping, okay? I mean, I'm just awesome, right? Okay, so... We have bag number one. Uno. Okay, so. I have a sweet tooth. I'm fat. I get it. So, I got these. These are from Little Dutch Maid. And these are white people cookies. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> these are the butter ring cookies. So, heck yeah. So, I just got these just to snack on, you know. You know. When I'm at work and I'm feeling depressed or something or people are pissing me off, I, I like to eat, you know? Ugh. Okay, so I got that. So now we're going to move on to bag number two. Bag number two is really juicy. Okay, so in bag number two, like I said, guys, crusty lips piss me off. I like, I like a man with some moist lips, okay? In a good way. Juicy. Mm, love it. Okay, so <laughs> this is Carmax. So I got some Carmax. I also, I also like trying out men's products, you know? Because, I mean, men's products tend to work sometimes better than the women's products do. And this is new to Dollar Tree. Um, I just saw this. This is the Extra... Extra... If I can talk today... Extra Care Men's Dry Spray 48-Hour Antiperspirant. So, it's supposed to be motion activated. So, yeah. I'm going to start doing, like, mini reviews where you guys will actually see me in my bathroom. And, I, like, I'll probably be in, like, some bra and shorts or something. And I'll, like, try the products out so you guys will check it out. And you get to see this nice, fine, fat body. Yeah. Okay. So, next. All right, so the next thing I ended up getting, and I was really surprised I got the last one, because let me tell you, these beauty hoes be getting on my nerves. Like, they go to Dollar Tree, they don't give a crap, they don't want to be considerate, they just clean the house, which I understand, but see, I'm the type that I'd be courteous. I at least leave five left, you know, I'll buy like four or five, and then leave five behind, just in case if someone like me who is a beauty freak, um... Because if I, I cannot survive without my makeup. Like, if I don't have makeup on, like, I just don't feel comfortable. I'm like a drag queen like that, I swear. Um, so this is from Bonnie Bell. And this is a fiber mascara. This was like the last one. So I was like, anytime I see one where it's the last one, it must be really damn good. Okay, so this is Bonnie Bell. So, oh, let me show you the packaging because, you know, I am not a beauty youtuber seriously okay so there's bonnie bell and it says subtle fibers attached to every lash it says to use place brush at base of lashes and gently sweep to tips replace cap and then uh, you remove it with the wipes all right yeah we'll have to try this in the future so it says fiber mascara. So it'll say that fiber mascara. Very dry, I have to say. And this is basic black, but I'm not basic, right? So here's the thing. It does have a strong smell to it, though. Who help me? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Forgive me for using your name, but that have a strong smell. 
Okay, let's keep going, guys. I got a lot of crap to show you guys. Even some random stuff. Because I'm a fucking fatty, I got some pancake syrup. Because <laughs> I am going to make pancakes this weekend, okay? And then I'm going to, like, put it all over my body and, like, eat it off of myself. Because I'm weird like that. No. I actually, am, I actually do eat pancakes in a normal way. But if there's a hot man, like, let's say Pitbull came in the room, you know? Let's say if he was single... I would just strip him down immediately and then just start pouring this all over and go, ah, 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 ah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm being extra, right? Okay, but yeah, just some, you know, I always like to stock up. That is like the African way, I swear. Like African people are just always preparing for like the end of the world. So we always have extra at everything. And if you don't believe me, ask your African friends. They will tell you that we stock up for everything in case the end of the world, in case, you know, zombies start to attack. We, you know, go to an African person's house. You'll be good. Okay, so. All right, so we got that bag done. Toss. Sir. All right, so we got, what? This is bag number, like, freaking three. Okay, so what I forgot, I got this too. This is some uh, Assured Pre-Dental Wit. Rish, 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 Rinse, ha. Huh? Okay, so this is the Pre-Brush Dental Rinse from Assured. Because, hey, look, I am not the type, I know my breath stinks, but I try, okay? So this stuff is awesome. So let me put that aside as I'm like dropping my mascara and I'm dropping freaking everything. Okay, so now, I am a hairy woman all over the place, okay? I have hairy armpits, hairy here, hairy vagina, hairy butt crack. I am hairy all over the place. So because of that, I have to maintain at least some kind of control. So I do shave my arms and stuff like that because I get, I literally, I get hairy like beasts from X-Men. And who wants to date that? I mean... I already have a manly voice, so I don't need to have the body hair to go with the voice. That's just me. Oh, God. So, what I ended up doing is, uh, I'm, like, itchy and sweaty. I gotta take a shower. I haven't showered in, like, three days. I know it's gross. No. Um, this is Rella Shave. I highly recommend these from Dollar Tree. You get six blades and... You get two of them. That's the only thing. I really wish they had more, but you get, like, two in here. So, yeah, this gives you that nice, close shave. So, I use it on my arms. I use it on my armpits. Um, I use it on my legs. I'm even thinking about getting a full body wax just because I am so sick of shaving this hair and it's just coming back thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. I'm, like, getting the hairs underneath my neck. That's what I'm starting to notice that is the beginning of the end for me. Like, I'm going to get all the plastic surgery. I am, like, I am retracting everything I've said about natural beauty. Natural beauty, I'm going to be natural, unnatural beauty. Because I'm going to get these lines fixed someday. I'm, like, if you see underneath my eyes here, I have a little sagginess. I'm going to get that corrected. I'm going to get this double chin removed. So that way, I can have the perfect boyfriend, right? Hopefully. Okay, so, yeah, I got a whole bunch of these, so I ended up getting, like, because I couldn't believe I ran out of razor blades, and I started, you know, you got to, like, hustle your razor blades, right? So I started using the same razor I used, like, about two weeks ago, and I'm like, nope, I got to get some stuff today. This is ridiculous. All right, so I got two of those, and then I saw these ones, and you get five in here, but these are only, like, the triple blade. But I was like, you know, just in case I run out of these, these ones, I can just use these as backups. And it's always the African way. I'm telling you guys, you always have to get tons in bulk. Because if you don't, and then your stupid relatives come over and they're like, hey, can I borrow all this stuff? And it's like, well, I don't have it. Oh my gosh. Then they talk all this trash about you. So the African way is you always want to have backup of everything so i got another one so i got three of those and i think i got uh yeah i got three of those and 
two of the triple because I'm a hairy, hairy beast, okay? Some, some man out there someday will appreciate my hairiness. God, please help me. Okay. So next, I got another Blistic Lip Medic. So I have like three of them now, but I'm always losing lip balms. It's ridiculous. I'm surprised I haven't lost this lipstick yet. And I am going to wear this tomorrow because I think it's a good color on my like hashtag semi-flawless skin. But yeah, I'm going to get all the skin treatments if I can afford it. If not, I will save up for it to keep this looking luxurious. Because Getty Old sucks, let me tell you. Okay, so next we have the Honey Lemon Cough Drops because I have allergies. Yes, black people do get allergies. It's not a only white people thing. Allergies does not have a racial attribute, okay? So my eyes have been getting... My, see, my eyes are like semi-watery, okay? And there's been freaking flowers everywhere. So I'm like walking by and I'm just like, this fucking sucks. So... My eyes are watery. My throat is itchy. So I've gotten these just to kind of suck on, you know. I, I really wish that I had like a man popsicle or something. I'd just be like, uh, like that. Yeah, I know. Very vulgar, right? Okay, so yeah. Highly recommend. They taste okay. Not the best taste, but just to keep my throat lubricated. Hell yeah. Okay, so next... You know, I had to be a little stereotypical and buy some cotton. Well, I use cotton for everything, like to take off my makeup sometimes. I use it for when I put on my astringement, all that good stuff. So, yeah, you get a whole bunch in here. And uh, I always stock up on these. And then, of course, because I am a fatty, I got some cookies. These are like my favorite. You just put it in the microwave for a couple seconds. They get nice and soft. Like this is like an orgasm in a package. So I got the chocolate chip. And I also got oatmeal raisin as well. And yeah. It's a good time, you know. So cookies. Alright, so I put that on the side. Ah, why am I itching? I'm, I might be allergic to stupid people. That might be why. That's why I'm itching so much. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Being elitist there. Ugh. Okay, so then I got some Sunny D. My mom's like, you should get some, like, orange something. Maybe that'll help you. Because, like, my throat's been irritated. My, I have, like, a leaky nose. Like, literally, if there was a faucet right here and you go, all right, all right, it'd be like, like, all my snot and everything would come out. I know, that sounds appetizing, doesn't it? Okay. So, yeah, got some Sunny D. Let's put that there. Let's keep it going. All right, so now, like I said, I always buy in bulk. So, I always, I got, like, three, no, I got four of each, maybe. No, I got, yeah, I got, like, three of the triple and four of the six blade. I was just, like, grabbing stuff, and people were like, this girl is an alcoholic. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Let me get the camera in focus. Beautiful face. Okay. So, let's move all of this cotton and razor blades that I'll use to shave my hairy body. If anyone would like to help me, please let me know. No, no. I wouldn't want for you guys to gag and throw up. Okay. So I'll put these razor blades like back here and make some more room here. Okay, so now my favorite part, like actual beauty crap. Okay, so let's talk about vaginas because I talk about vaginas for like half of this show. No, um, but yeah, vagina, vaginal care is important. You got to keep that fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to keep that fresh. So this is from personal care. I talk about it all the time. This has been the one thing that controls the funkiness down here for me love it even when i especially when you're fat too you know you got fat folds and stuff and everything sweating and marinating i mean you can make a steak down there okay with me okay if you want to grill a steak let me know and i will put it on my vagina i'll tell you seriously okay so this is the uh yeah feminine hygiene spray this stuff is awesome 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 you spray a little bit 
and then you're good for pretty much a couple of hours. I put some in my underarms just because I have these fat arms, you know, like, Wah! like I can fly with them, you know, I could just stretch them out and be like, Hashtag flat people problems, let me tell you. Okay, so, yeah, that stuff is really good. I always stock up. Every time I go to Dollar Tree, I buy at least one or two because it does keep me fresh, like, all day. Like, I, I just have to just touch it up maybe one time if I get sweaty down there. But besides that, I'm good. Okay. So next, we're going to get on to some allergy stuff here, and then we'll hit the beauty stuff. Um, but as you can see, it's the African way. You got to buy in bulk. So these things are like, okay, so there's the Vicks Vapor Rub because you know I'm obsessed with Vicks Vapor Rub. Oh my gosh, it's great for like body aches and pains besides when you're sick. Um, but this is from New Choice. This is a natural inhaler. This stuff is awesome. Like I've used this for years and it helps just to keep my nasal area all nice and like decongested for me or just to help me to relax from all the snottiness going on um but this is a cheaper alternative to the vix uh vapo inhalers because i saw them at walmart and they were like at my walmart they were like eight dollars for two and i was like oh hell no so luckily my dollar tree um, where I'm from is opened a little bit later. So, uh, your girl went down there. So, I got like, let's see, one, two, three, four. I got like five of them. Because you can keep them for uh, about three months after the first use. And, uh, oh, I forgot my disclaimer. Like I always say, um, what works for me may not work for you. So, always check with a medical professional before you put anything on your fine face and your fine body. Okay, so let's try this, actually, because I need some release. That's not Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> oh, just saying Fifty Shades of Grey, I just, I'm feeling myself getting, like, horny. I'm, oh, I'm such a freak, guys. You don't even know. Okay, so... All you do is you like shake it off like you're jerking it off. Jerking it off. Okay. So sometimes these are kind of difficult to open because the um, the perforation is not always in the right place. So all you do is I kind of just carefully follow the uh, perforation. But sometimes it can be a little bit off, but that's okay. And it comes just like that. You want to shake it up to get it all activated and all of that. And then you want to do, um, it says here, um, for adults and children two years and older, one to two inhalations in each nostril. And, and it says as often as needed. So it consists of peppermint, birch, eucalyptus, and rosemary. So I'm actually going to try this. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Man. Oh, that's good. It just helps for me to decongest naturally here. Oh, I feel so much better than before. Oh, that's so good. I love this stuff. It's only a dollar. You can't beat it. Oh, man. Decongesting, man. Okay. And then I told you, always get stuff in more than one, so I did. All right, so now for the beauty, beauty. The real meat and potatoes of what you're probably watching this video for. And um, it's going to be a long video today. So if you don't like long videos, well, too bad. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, so um, this is from Beauty Benefits, and this is the Total Coverage Foundation Powder in the shade Carob. So that's how it looks like there. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me tilt it to the side. Yeah, they had this whole display of Beauty Benefits stuff. I was like, I'll give it a try. And my makeup is a little bit semi-goth today. I just put a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but I, I have, like, a really thick line going on. I just feel more gothic. Like, I just want to wear, like, all black and, like, 
you know, have really dark lips and really super pale skin. Like, this is, like, as pale as my skin will get um, unless I went further, but I won't do that because I am the Coco Persuasion. All right. So let's look at this pressed powder. The other one was a little bit too light, so I'm probably going to use that as a brow bone highlight. Um, I have so many tutorials that I'll have to show you guys with, like, Korean skincare, Asian beauty products, and all that, that are affordable. No, no high, I, I've just decided not to review high-end stuff, because, like, I can't afford that, and also, I like to represent for that everyday person, you know, who likes affordable skincare and still getting a good kind of, you know, product. So... Yeah, so let's try this pressed powder here. So it comes like that. Let's uh, do a finger swatch. Yeah, this is really dark. It's either really light or really dark. Hmm. Yeah, that's a little too dark for my skin. So uh, this will be a contouring powder for my cheeks here. Nope, not putting this on my whole face because then I would look like a creature, okay? I would look like that song, um, like, was it like Michael Jackson's Thriller? Where I'm like, ah, you know, I don't look like that. So, well, maybe sometimes I do. Uh, but this, yeah, press powder, uh, it's okay. It's got some shimmer in it, so I don't, I wouldn't put this all over the face. So, I think I'm going to just use it as a contouring powder or maybe as an eyeshadow or something. Okay. So, this was the part that I gagged, guys. I couldn't believe this. Like, this this is all new to my Dollar Tree. And I said that I would not buy any more nail polishes. Yeah. I totally caved and I went, I went ham. I seriously did. Okay, so these are like new to my Dollar Tree and new to the Dollar Tree that are Dollar Tree period. I haven't seen many of these because I have like a, I have like the first three colors, but they had more. So I grabbed them immediately, especially, you know, the darker shades always go faster. Okay, so these are the Kiss Gel Strong Nail Polish and I got Mars. It's like Maras Cherry. Because, you know, the goth in me, the Matisha Adams, always have a nice red lip or red nails or something. Okay, so I got that. Then I got Favorite Tote for my inner white girl. You know, Valley Girl Realness. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And then I got a Late Blush. This is really nice. That's like the perfect pink on this dark skin hunty. Okay. And then I have After Hour. So it's like a little bit deeper. And then I went real extreme with this lilac color. Because lilac looks good on darker skin tones too. And even any skin tone, you know. But dark, you know, darker complected people, our beauty needs is very tough too, you know. We get screwed so many times. But I mean, things are changing though. Shout outs to Maybelline for the Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. So many ranges of colors. Of course, Fenty Beauty. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Rihanna, so I will not buy that. Mm. I mean, I get it. It's really good stuff, but I'm just not into Rihanna like that. That's just me. Okay, and then um, CoverGirl always has covered, you know, they, <laughs> no pun intended, covered a pretty decent range of, of shades as well. And even Alame. I never thought that Alame would have darker foundation. I'll have to get some of that to try it. Because I'm only focusing on affordable products, no high-end stuff. So I'll have to do what I like to call 30, 50, 100, where I'll spend those price points and I'll pick a brand and I'll show you uh, what you can get for that price point. So the first brand I think I'm going to start off with is e.l.f. Because e.l.f. is very popular but very affordable. And you can find them online and in the store as well, in certain stores. Um, yeah, so this other color is called Manicorn. Mm. Did someone say man? Okay, no. Um, but yeah, really nice lilac color. So yeah, I got all of those. And then the final one, which I was really excited about, is In the Day. So I'm probably going to wear this one. So it's really nice, like, purple color gag. Okay, so next we have, and these are new. I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree, 
so you know your girl had to get it. Uh, these are the Sassy and Chic Nail Polishes. It's a smooth and beautiful finish. We'll see about that. Um, this is 904, which is... Let's see, what's the name? 904... Oh, there's no name. It's just 904 is the number. So that's how it looks like. It's just this um, very nice bottle. They remind me of like the OPI kind of style bottles. Um, and then uh, you have 905, which is this gorgeous purple. Oh my gosh, I think I might do this one tonight. Evil. No, I'm kidding. Dark evil colors. And in this one, I was also excited because I love deep greens on my beautiful skin here. Uh, this is 903. So hopefully they, they expand the collection here. But we'll see how the quality of the nail polish is because you can see my nails are busted. But you know what? I don't care. So. I got like tons. Whew, I got like tons of extra bags, I swear. Okay, and then this is the final bag, guys. And I have to put all this stuff away. That's the thing I hate about shopping. It's like, you get all the fun stuff, and then you have to put it away. It's like, ugh. So I got some more cotton, but these are the ones that I use just on my face exclusively, too. Like, for astringement only. So you get 80 in here. It's not bad. And then this was the last dark lip gloss. These, like, I'm telling you, Beauty Treats at Dollar Tree has been flying off well my Dollar Tree has been flying off the flipping like shelves okay so this is the sparkling lip gloss and uh, this is shade ballet so that's it there the packaging is pretty nice but who gives a crap about the packaging I certainly don't okay so let's um So let's check this out. Yep, you have all oh, the applicators are actually really nice. This is a really nice color though. Doesn't really have a smell to it too. That's a plus. So I'll have to try this and see how it goes. So here it is in the container lip gloss. Yes. Put it next to my new fiber mascara. Okay. So finally, these are the last three things I ended up getting. All right, and then um, I got these from Coffee Mate, and these are liquid creamers, so you have to refrigerate these after opening them. And I got two hazelnut because, like, my mom loves hazelnut. Every time she's like, where is the hazelnut? Where is the hazelnut? And I'm like, okay, okay, here you go. Blue. Like, pour the whole thing in there. Like, ha, ha, you know, just super hyper. Um, but, yeah, so that's all that I got, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed me being a hot mess. Um, but coming up tomorrow for the show, uh, we will be getting back into playing Tales of Mysteria, and I just decided, you know what, we're going to do start to finish, I'm just going to play one game at a freaking time, so I'm not all over the place, so then after we beat Mysteria, which I think will take me like 80 hours probably, then we'll get into Final Fantasy 15, because there's all that fine Asian man candy, but guess who's my favorite, guys, guess who's my favorite, my favorite is Gradius. He is just the fine older man realness.com, okay? He's got those really nice, sexy, like, tattoos, and he's, like, buff, and he has, like, that really deep voice. You know, he's, like, Prince, and I'm, like, oh, my gosh. Like, I hear his voice, and I feel, like, my clothes just, like, coming off, and I just, like, want to, like, just, just hump him right there, Okay. You, you know, ladies, and you know, and we're LGBTQIA friendly here, of course. So you know what I mean when you see someone that you find attractive, and you're just like, "Why are my clothes on right now?" You know, you want to turn on your good music, that sexy music. Everybody has that sexy music, okay? Like everybody. I was listening to the Queen of the Dam soundtrack. Um, before I came on, but yeah, it's some good stuff, but man, I'm itchy, 
I need to go take a shower. I'm not going to be one of these people like, I haven't showered in like 10 days. You nasty. All right. No. <laughs> I'm being messy. But guys, like I always say, remember to get smart and stay informed. And also remember that misery loves company. I'll talk to all of you soon.